Peter Corbett, who describes himself as, have Jeff make it up. <laughs> Peter Corbett. Awesome, that's the best bio ever. Oh my God, I'm the last one of the night. My water's gonna fall off this thing. All right, wow, you're beautiful people out here. It's awesome, thank you so much uh, for coming out. Thank you everyone to the organizers. I'm gonna go right into it. I'm Corbett 3000, I'm the CEO of iStrategy Lab. There's a bunch of bullshit on this slide about my bio to give you some context if you're interested. Wanted to make sure you first and foremost didn't think I had a massive ego. Not this one down here. This little one down here, hopefully you understand. But what I want to show you first and foremost is DC's amazingness level. We heard a lot about amazing tonight. Um, prior, like 2005, you know, this is the hipster sustainability line. You know, below this, there are no fixies. There's fixies up here. Above, you get a lot of mustaches, not enough mustaches. Obama comes in. Anyway, so the question is over the next five years, are we going to become a world-class innovation hub? I think we can do that. This is like the land of missed opportunity. It's just stasis, right? It's where we are today. This is we fucked up big time, right? The huge opportunity in this city to really own that. We're really not waiting for anybody. We're not waiting for the government. We're not waiting for these old school institutions to give us permission, tell us what to do. We're not vying for new committees, new boards, whatever. Right? We're not waiting for that. Everyone I know that's innovating is just doing it. We're not even waiting for anyone in this room. We're not waiting for partners. We're not waiting for co-founders. We're just doing it. How many people in this room are just doing it? Right? Raise your hand and say, yeah, there's a lot of people just doing it. I don't know if you looked around just now. That's awesome. You're not, don't wait for anybody. Right? We're also not waiting for money. This is the scrappiest motherfucking town I've ever been in. I don't know, I don't know where you guys are from. I, I'm from New Jersey. I've been in New York. I've been in Atlanta. This place is scrappy, and we're pulling it together in an awesome way, both from a creative perspective and a technology perspective, and it's not going to stop. What's happening is there are a lot of flags being raised, right? Some of those are small flags, and that's amazing. Some of those are bigger flags. The important part is that this is a completely user-driven, a community-driven effort to make this one of the most innovative places in the world. Catch my breath. Now, anyway, so what we're really missing is that story, that cohesive story. People think of Washington. Washington is a dirty word. This is DC. This is the District of Columbia. It's an incredible place, and no one is telling that story. We're also missing physical place, clustering, density, so friction. You can have geeks rubbing together, creating incredible companies like Living Social or Opower. I know there's a bunch of you in this room. Right? So that's incredibly important. I want you to think about that every day. How are we bringing people together? And so we're not waiting. We're going to do it. We already are doing it. And with our, this is our blood, our blood, and our, and our tears or sweat or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I was late when I made this presentation. Right? So we're going to do it. We're not going to wait for our city government to say, we're going to have an economic development campaign to teach people about this. Stuff. Fuck that. Right? So we're going to tell your story. We're going to tell our stories. We're going to build our own embassies. We're going to have our own ambassadors. I go all over the world and tell people about what's going on in the district. We'll have our own propaganda. This town's really good at that. And we're going to fund it ourselves, right? We'll fund it through, through the big purses that we know around town. And the small ones, the micro-funded, the Kickstarters, the medium-sized ones from all the small businesses that are here. They're innovating and doing incredible things because we don't need big institutional dollars. So what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to talk about iStrategy Labs is going to contribute the first $25,000 worth of our time and effort, our blood and our sweat and our tears to create that campaign. And we're doing that right now, literally starting tonight and next year, $150,000 of actual cash for physical place. I'm going to bring other people together. I'm going to raise about a million dollars to bring people together, the innovators of the city to do things that are incredible. Some of you will contribute. Some of you won't. Some of you just come and drink our beer. That's fine. <laughs> do it. Come. We'll have a lot of beer, an incredible amount of beer. So who thinks I'm crazy? You should. If you don't, I might not have had a good enough idea if you don't. If someone in this room doesn't think I'm crazy or stupid, it's not a good enough approach. Um, so hopefully there's someone who thinks that. Anyway, wow, catch my breath. But it's really up to you. Inside this box is a world of opportunity. And it's up to you whether or not you're going to open that box. You can leave here tonight and go back to your crappy job in a fucking cubicle, or you can do it. Are you going to do it? Yes, you're going to do it. Because the other option is being this creepy motherfucker who's going to go off into the night in his little trench coat down K Street and really not be that interesting and probably not do that much good in the world and not change the way people perceive the city, perceive yourself, and perceive each other. But if we do it, we will attract the world. We will attract the world to the district, right? You'll attract your new friends, your new partners, your new employees, your new clients, your new customers. We attracted a Canadian to be our new engineer. Two days ago from Winnipeg, Manitoba, sold his house to be here. He might be in the room. I don't know if you figured out the cab system yet. Here, He'd never been out of Manitoba. I don't know. Um, so what will you do? What are you waiting for? Who will tell your story? Who is coming with me? Right? All right. And if you want to connect with me, just mention me. 
Thank you so much.